Hello and welcome to my video today. This is actually an important video. If you've been having issues with your 12 volt battery, it may not be the battery itself. It may be its connection to the car. Thanks to Christian Vatchel from the FOA Facebook group. He's a service tech who first brought up this issue and I definitely want to talk about it today since it could affect any vehicle. And let me zoom into the car right now. I have the hood open and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, I have the hood open and you're looking at the windshield area of the car up front here. We have the 12 volt battery right here and the negative terminal of the battery connects to a cable that ends right here. Let me zoom in on that. And here you can see the cable and then it ends right at this bolt right here. You can see the connection. Now on some vehicles, this may be loose, this bolt right here, and then you could move the cable. Fortunately, mine is on tight and my cable is not moving. If the cable is loose, you may get sporadic problems with the 12 volt battery that you'll see with the car, it may cause problems with the subsystems. You may have a problem with getting locked out of your vehicle, or you may have an issue where the car shifts into park. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a 13 millimeter wrench such as this one. I recommend using one like this since it's very low profile. You don't wanna be touching any of the coolant pipes that are in this area. So what you'll do is you'll just attach the wrench to the bolt right here. And then to tighten it, you're gonna pull it towards yourself. So pull it this way to tighten it. And when it's all the way tightened, you can just release it and pull it out. Make sure you don't touch anything on the body with the wrench. And you should be set. The bolt will now be tight. And then the negative terminal uh, lead that connects to this will not have an issue. You can then carefully close the hood, put in the bolts and put the service lid back on and you'll be all set. By the way, this is the area that you would use when you're boosting the car. For example, you want to jumpstart the 12 volt battery, you would attach to this post right here. Christian had mentioned in his post that several times he had seen this cable disconnected either at port or at the factory or somewhere else and not tightened to specifications, which can either cause the grounding nut to unscrew itself over time while driving or just be loose enough so that when the stars align, the vehicle will have no connection to the 12 volt battery ground. The vehicle then may suddenly and or at odd times when the vehicle goes into park, especially if there's a bad connection between the PKC module and the BLE key fob that makes the car go out of ready mode when parking. When the vehicle is boosted back to life and potentially moved, the connection could have been restored again, especially if the vehicle is boosted as the ground nut and the negative terminal for boosting stud are right next to each other. So check to make sure this nut is tightened properly. Thanks again to Christian Vatchel from the FOA Facebook group for showing me this tip today. And I definitely recommend you opening up your hood and checking out this grounding bolt. The second thing I wanna talk about today is on the 12 volt battery itself under the lid here of the fuse panel that's on top of the 12 volt battery that's connected to the positive terminal. And this was brought up by Chad Ecton, if I'm pronouncing his name correctly, and also Bill Crawford. And this was about if you have an issue with the 12 volt battery warning now, and it stays on and doesn't disappear, and you've checked everything else in the vehicle, for example, the connection for the negative ground that I just talked about, along with other issues such as the negative terminal that I've done in previous videos. And if you've done all that and you still have a problem, it may be due to the 
IBS or intelligent battery sensor. And the fuse for that is in this box here. The fuse is called MF06 and it is this one five amp mini fuse that's located right here. What I suggest is take the fuse out and verify that the fuse isn't blown. And if it is blown, replace it with a new five amp mini fuse. And if the fuse is fine, just reinsert it and make sure it's in tightly. There have been reports that this fuse may be loose and that may be causing these issues. So this is it right here. So make sure you check that out if you are having any issues with the 12 volt battery warning on the driver's screen. And when you're done with that, just make sure that you put the lid back into its original position. So what you want to do is make sure that the error message stops. And if your battery is now holding a charge, then you're good to go. If the battery is not holding a charge, it may be too far gone and you may need to have it replaced. And I'm going to be doing a future video on the replacement of the 12 volt battery in the Fisker Ocean. So stay tuned for that. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.